Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. I appreciate all your likes. I appreciate you subscribing. Um, this topic is going to be a little touchy, but I really want to touch up on this, this subject. Um, <clears throat> this one was a big one for me uh, for many, many, many years. And uh, so I think it's important to be, to be heard. Um, this is narcissistic sexual abuse. Um, it's a very, uh, it's a very important subject to talk about, um, because a lot of people think that if you're in a relationship, uh, with a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, that you see them as dating or you see them as married, but, you know, if they're forced into having a sexual, sexual act and it's forced, that's rape within the relationship. And a lot of people don't take that seriously. A lot of people don't think it's a big deal. Um, a lot of people let it go like, oh, okay. It's, it's a real thing. So, uh, sexual abuse from a narcissist can have severe and long lasting effects on the victim's mental health. Victims turned survivors may experience anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, many other disorders. They may struggle with self-esteem issues and trusting others. It may be very difficult to have future partners and stable relationship as well. <clears throat> Relationships as well, excuse me. Depending on the severity of the abuse itself, sexual abuse from a narcissist is used as a form of control to control your behavior to act on their fantasies, not yours. It's a way to dominate over you and the narcissist feels superior over you. Stages of sexual abuse from a narcissist, narcissist <clears throat> they, use, they start using you at first by grooming you. They might fondle you and start with smaller unwanted and embarrassing sexual acts that are designed to catch you off guard it leaves you feeling like a possession instead of a partner. They also like to embarrass and humiliate you and show explicit photos to friends as well. If you don't agree with their acts or behavior, they start with verbal assaults, degrading you and your body, body shaming you, threats start coming at you. <clears throat> they use you, they see you as objects toys and tools, not as a human being. They tend to get very jealous if you don't comply with their needs and demands, saying you are seeing other people when you aren't. They persuade you into having sex with them by using guilt, shame, blame, harassment, or rage, or even threats. Another sly tactic they like using <clears throat> with the threats is to find someone else. They say they will find another person, another supply, if you don't please them the way that they need to be pleased. If you don't do what they say and act in the sexual behavior they want, <clears throat> they will say that they will leave and cheat and find others that will do what they want, therefore making you feel obligated to fulfill their desires. Yet, it's only another one of their tricks and cruel intentions. When they already probably already are cheating on you, to start with and have been for a while or two they have another supply lined up <clears throat> and soon they will start to pursue pursue that person as well they are very pushy when it comes to sex no matter how frequent or what acts take place it's never good enough it never satisfies them they were they are always on the look for new supply as well they love instilling fear into you, making you afraid that you will get hit or worse. Maybe they will punish you and isolate you more from family and friends. They take the car or money, withhold any kind of thing as a control. Uh, if you don't comply with their sexual advances, if you reject them, they usually try to find some sort of revenge or punishment to hurt you and make you suffer. They are very selfish with their sexual ways. They tend to always want unprotected sex, putting you at risk for diseases or pregnancy. Therefore, most will leave you when you become pregnant as well and find other supply leaving you 
and abandoning I mean, abandoning excuse me you and the child with no remorse or care about you at all you can see this subject is very touchy for me because <clears throat> this is uh this is a big one for me <clears throat> in the narcissist corrupt mind they believe your body is their property and they own you which is not true and sadly they break their victims into believing that it is true to therefore submit to any demands they ask another form of sexual abuse is withholding sex from you you may want to be intimate with your partner at the time and the narcissist will completely withhold all physical contact narcissists love crossing personal boundaries you had standards and you knew what was acceptable to you and your body sexually and they completely disregarded that breaking all your boundaries you had if you wanted a commitment in marriage they will completely ignore the idea or fake future talks and promises in order to get what they want which is to use you for sex rape within the relationship happens more than people think if it is unwanted or forced it's rape making you do degrading acts that you are embarrassed or ashamed to do is just a form of manipulation from the narcissistic abuser you are no one's property you deserve respect and do not deserve to be degraded and controlled or forced into any act that you don't feel comfortable or wanting to do leave them or tell them to leave call for help call the police get court orders whatever you need to do for safety so you can heal and start loving yourself again and be free getting into other relationships in the future may be very difficult at first you may choose to be alone whatever you have to do in order to feel safe and happy to get your own your old self back you do that whatever it takes the nightmares will come and go and the memories will come and go and probably last but you can move forward and heal I know you can I did and I am working every day on that more and more I am healing every day and I know that you can do it so <clears throat> all my my notes I write all these and I put them I have a giant folder here of all my notes but <clears throat> so um, narcissistic sexual abuse is a big 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 um, problem and they love taking their uh, victim and pretty much any kind of beginning morals boundaries anything that you thought that you in the beginning had respect for yourself you know your faith you want to you want to wait till marriage any kind of thing like that they just completely come in swoop in weasel their way and little by little they chip away at your boundaries they chip away at your personal um, ideas of and, and faith and commitment and your your self-respect uh, eventually goes away and then they they just take over they think they own you and they don't so you're no one's property so get your self-respect back get your dignity dignity back and start loving yourself again and I know I know you can I love you guys peace